I really need to grind the jaws on my scroll jaw chuck here for the Atlas. It is way off. I have a piece of shaft here. It's a really true shaft and I'm going to call that 22 thousandths out. So, and that, that's as close as I can get it to. So that is not good at all. Not acceptable for most things. There's been two reasons why I haven't got around to grinding this thing. First, I don't have an internal post grinder. Mine's external only. Um, so I have to rig up some way to attach my little die grinder. So this is the awesome tool post grinder I have for the Atlas lathe. And I decided to take the wheel off real quick just to see if there was a way I could make an adapter or something real quick to put a little internal grinding wheel on there. So I'll just put it back together and uh, keep going with my die grinder idea. But I really would prefer to use this on there, which not that big of a deal. But the real kicker is I don't have a good way to hold these jaws under tension. And I was going to use the plate idea where you drill three holes in the plate and slide it over these jaws and then bore it out. If you've seen that idea at all, if you know anything about what I'm talking about. I decided that was really the best way to go. That would be really nice. Just never taking the time to make that plate. That plate really needs to be accurate. But then I saw something the other day on the internet that I am going to try. I think it's super easy. So I have some really accurately rolled cold roll stock here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is cut three shims. So this stuff is actually very accurate, uh, what do you want to say, dimensions to the stock. Um, if I can get on here squarely, 8750 in that direction, and 8750 in that direction. Now the trick is going to be how to hold them in there. Maybe I can. Right, turn it on here, see if they fly out. Oh, they stay. Now, Obviously, I'm going to have to take the boring bar to this and bore them out just a little bit first to get the start on this. But Because, you know, the die grinder is obviously going to hit on these flat spots. But I think that's pretty cool. Very happy with this wheel. It is really out of round. So I've been trying to figure out some way I could dress that, but I haven't come up with a good way. So since these shims are in here and hitting, you know, they're it's actually going to grind that part of the metal away. I'm going to start back there. I think kind of pull into it, see if I can't grind out those shims a little bit to dress the wheel. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to put on my noise canceling headphones because I cannot stand the noise of that die grinder. So if anything goes wrong, let me know, will ya? Because I won't be able to hear what's going on with the lathe.
Well, that was uh, only a couple passes. I really thought it'd grind more of this strap iron out of the way, but it didn't really seem to. But as you can see on that jaw, I ground out a whole bunch in there towards the, like from the middle back. And that jaw, it ground out a whole bunch of the front. And that jaw kind of ground out there in the center. So, interesting. Yeah, let's keep on keeping on. I'm not dialing in much on this cross slide dial at all. It's just maybe a thousandths. Maybe. I just realized I forgot to put a rag down over my ways. <sighs> well, I'm going to clean that up with a little WD-40 and hopefully I can wash that stuff off pretty good. Hopefully I didn't get up under the saddle too bad. I'm going to go ahead and take the spacers out. Make up my mind what I'm doing here. There we go. Um, I really want to clean the chuck, but this second in time, I want to wait on that. I'm going to waste some WD 40 there. Try to get all that crap to trickle out of there. Um, because I just want to test it real quick. I'll tear the chalk apart here in a little bit. You'll see that here soon. But I just want to see what the run out is. That's what I'm trying to say. But I just want to see what the run out is real quick. Boy, that felt different when I tightened it down too. Oh, wow. I was pretty close to true and I just got WD-40 all over myself. Yeah, it's showing ten thousandths, so it's better. Probably should take it apart, clean it, regrind it, take it apart and clean it, and then it might be a uh, crap. Then it might be a little more accurate. I went ahead and broke all the screws loose off cameras to make sure they'd come out. So I didn't want to spend a lot of time recording me trying to get a screw loose, but they all came out real easy. Or broke loose real easy. Let's see. I think I gotta take these out too, right? All of them have to come out. Wow. I think I'm actually more on the surface with the brass hammer. Some of those were already there, but a couple of them I think I put in. That's no good. Keep wondering if I could put a screw in there. Bang the screw. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of crap falling out of there. Holy cow. Oh, wow. That thing is full of crap. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I should have taken this apart before I ground it. That is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Well, do they look different? Holy cow. <laughs> uh, I think the moral of this story is uh, clean your scroll chucks once in a while. Crying out loud. This should have been done years ago, and this needs to be done more often. So yes, point being, take apart your scroll jaws. So now I'm going to put a little bit of light oil on everything and put it back together and see how accurate it is. found a piece of three-quarter inch tool steel. That ought to be really round. And it's also right at three thousandths. I've pulled it in and out of there several times, and it always goes back to three thousandths. Ah, what the heck. Let's give it one more shot, right? Take a little bit off.
I may or may not have over oiled the chuck when I put it back together and with everything no matter what rod I stick in there now I'm three thousandths out it doesn't matter if I use this piece or those other pieces I was using earlier everything is three thousandths so I'm just gonna leave it there I guess it's the best I can do with this setup I'm a little disappointed in that but you know what is this a 73 year old lathe now, this lathe is a 1943 model, so I'm going to say everything considered, it's good enough. Hope you enjoyed this video about the grinding, and uh, if you have any suggestions on this, do let me know. I would like to hear it.